Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for mid-February 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is general, so not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, let's see. Pisces, what is going on for you mid-February? What is the major theme? the temptress seduction deceit and a broken promise hmm okay so this does not necessarily have to be a temptress in that sense of the word like a mistress okay it could definitely be just somebody who has deceived you all right in some way you either feel dece deceived or maybe you have deceived someone okay um let's get into it and see what this is about maybe somebody broke a promise or just didn't live up to something that they had said they would do and then for others of you yeah it could definitely be um it could definitely be that there was cheating involved all right let's see pisces Maybe you have discovered that somebody has cheated you in something or deceived you in some way or just wasn't showing their true colors. We shall find out. All right, so for you, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Cups. All right, so... Hmm. There is definitely a commitment here that you that you were involved in that you feel like yeah like there was something sneaky going on or just some again just something something that it could have been a lie for example and I'm getting that um, whatever this was you feel like it was um, like it was hidden from you in a way where this this person was acting like like they were wearing a mask is what I'm getting with this playing it like you know they're like everything is fine just really putting on this show of you know being fun and having um, a light energy to them let's see Again, roles can be roles can be reversed. It could be that you are the one here, or if you're if you're cross watching for a Pisces, all right, take it as it resonates. But somebody here was in this energy, so for them we have the six of wands, the emperor, and the devil. Yeah. Okay. So this person. I feel like they feel like they got away they got away with it um, with the six of wands and the emperor I feel like this is somebody who and especially together with the devil it could be somebody that is very controlling it, it, it's almost giving me a narcissistic type of a feel to it okay so I mean if you're watching for a love connection and you don't feel like this is your person it could be let's say you're cross watching right it could be for your person and somebody else all right, so it could be that you're cross-watching for a Pisces and then this person here that um, is in this energy of controlling, controlling this or, or narcissism could be somebody else in their lives, all right? It doesn't necessarily have to be you, but I do feel like this is a person that is in some way related to you in the sense that it could be serving as a block to your connection with this person, all right? So... Yeah, take it as it resonates, but I'm seeing here that this person was a bit narcissistic, um, controlling, wanting to win. There was something that was in it for them. And it was not coming from a very good place, alright? It could even be manipulation. Let's see what is coming up, and we will clarify. We have the Star, the King of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. 
All right, so this is actually looking pretty good here because I feel like there is hope, there is healing, and there is hope for whoever is the one that was manipulated to really stand strong and make a, a firm decision, okay, when it comes to where they give their attention, where they give their affection, where they give their love, and who also they accept this from. All right, so I feel like this is actually going to be you, the Pisces, up here, unless the roles are reversed. All right, or unless it's about someone else. So for the message for you, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like once this happens, um, this energy here of healing and standing strong in your power, the door is being open to a new potential, to a new commitment here. All right, so... Yeah, if none of these scenarios make any sense to you, then this is probably not going to be your reading, and you might want to check out one of your other signs, all right? I feel like rising signs are the ones that would resonate the most, to be honest with you guys. But of course, for each person, it can be different. All right, let's see, Pisces. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Your energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you here, you've been very nurturing, you have been very committed, you have possibly even really helped this person. Um, you've given them a lot of attention and just you've been very faithful and committed when it comes to whatever this connection was. Okay, so and I feel like you might still be a little bit in, in that kind of an energy. Um, I don't know. Could be that some of you still want a reconciliation with this person. I'm not sure though. It's too many that popped out together. Let's see. So clarifying the Seven of Swords, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah. So for a lot of you, because I don't feel like this is... It's interesting. This is your energy, and usually this is only your energy up here in the first row. But in this particular case, I feel like this is how you are feeling about the other person. And what I'm getting here is that you feel like you've been deceived and that this person was either very inconsistent when it comes to something possibly acting very immature or of course in some cases this card can definitely be one of um definitely can be one of cheating all right um again doesn't have to be it really depends on who this other person is to you okay because it does not have to be i mean it just really depends it really depends but i feel like somebody snuck off And, um, yeah, did either did something impulsive or just something that was deceitful, okay? It's going to be different for each of you. Let me see this Three of Cups. The Knight of Cups, let me get one more. And the Three of Cups again. Okay, so yeah, this person I feel has was acting very charming, but I feel like it was all a facade. I feel like it was all like a masquerade kind of, kind of a thing. I'm getting very flirty behavior here. I mean, having the Three of Cups twice and the Knight of Cups, that's either very flirty behavior, either with other people in some cases, all right, if that was your situation, and then for others of you, um... For others of you, it's just that this person was very charming to you and just acting like this knight of knight of cups, telling you what you wanted to hear, but in the meantime, they had done something that was deceitful to you, okay? Which again, is going to be different for each of you. All right, let's, that, I feel like, and I feel like this is something you are aware of. This is something that has come to your attention, and that's why it's showing up in your energy, okay? I don't feel like this is something you don't know. So let's get into their energy and see, and see what is going on with them. Let's see the Six of Wands. All right, we have the Moon. So definitely some secrets here. There's definitely secrets here. Something that this person is hiding. Let me see the Emperor, because I feel like it's very, very similar energy here. The Wheel of 
Wheel of Fortune. Let me get one more. And the Four of Wands. Ooh, okay. So it feels like, this is interesting because, I, I, like I said, I feel like a narcissistic vibe from this person. Um, for some, and that's usually a characteristic that does not change, okay? Um, so for those of you that might be dealing with this person, all right, that's, that's a, just know that, all right? It's a characteristic that does not change <laughs> that easily. However, it could be for some of you, if this was, if this was just mild, whatever this is, um, this person wants to make a shift here towards something more stable, okay? But again, we have the devil, so you really have to be cautious here. I feel like this person is going to try to shift things around in a way where, where they're going to have they're going to want to have this union with you, come back together with you, try to stabilize things out because I do feel like you may have reacted to whatever it is that happened. Let me see the devil. The four of pentacles. All right. Okay. First of all, this person, for example, could be if you're cross watching this this person here could be for example, a spouse or a partner of the person that you're watching for all right so I just wanted to say that because I feel like that's going to be the case for some of you. So just wanted to point that out. All right, so what I'm seeing about this person here, all right, trying to make a shift, trying to keep this, um, this stability or this foundation with you is that they're, it's going to be really hard for them to change, pretty much is what I was saying before. Okay, with the Four of Pentacles, that's holding on to an energy, and it could be holding on to that energy pretty stubbornly. All right, so yeah, they're not letting you go. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to lose you. But they're still, they're also holding on to this devil's energy, which is that toxicity, which is that, um, you know, whatever it is that is negative here. If it's narcissism, well, they're still narcissistic. They're still holding on to that. Let me get one more. All right, we have the Empress. I also had judgment kind of flip over for those of you that are that would want to know that. So I do feel like almost as if they're trying to make some discernments or trying to make some decisions. But again, the main the main energy here is the devil. Okay, I can't I can't just bypass that. All right, and with the Empress here, yeah, they're still holding on to you. I feel like you in this particular case are being shown as the Empress. All right, regardless of whether you're watching for, cross-watching for a male or whether you're watching for yourself. Let's move on to the near future. Let's see the star. All right, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so... I feel like this is actually you in this particular case. This is you healing from whatever this situation was and being able to find that power within yourself. I feel like this person with the who had the six of wands um, clarified by the moon, it's like they had this power over you. They had that advantage over you as the six of wands. And I feel like this is you taking that power back. All right, with the star here, taking your control back of your own self, finding your own victory, and that's coming through this healing. Let me 
to the King of Swords. One sec, because I dropped it, and it is the Four of Swords. Okay, so more healing, yes. All right, so the more that you heal yourself from this connection or from this um, whatever this was, all right, that happened, like finding yourself again, finding your power, the more that you are going to be even more determined. I feel like the one kind of brings the other and it's like this, this motivational cycle. Like the more you heal, the more determined you become to heal even more. And that's going to push you forward. That's giving you drive. That's giving you um, motivation to stand firm in your decisions. And I feel like your decision is to pretty much um, move away from this type of an energy. All right, let's see the Knight of Cups. Is that good? Ooh, the lovers. I was just about to say, because this could be something new that is coming in. And as soon as I thought that and almost said it, the, the lovers popped out. So I feel like, yes, as you heal and as you become determined, in standing firm in your decisions and in your power, not allowing bullshit behavior towards you or treatment that you don't deserve, that is opening up that door to the Knight of Cups and to the Lovers, which I feel is actually also the, that final message here is the Ace of Pentacles. That's a new door opening up for you, a brand new beginning, a new potential here. And this, for some of you, this could even be somebody that you already know, all right? It doesn't have to be somebody new in that sense. It could be, you know, removing this, which might not even, I don't know. I mean, maybe this isn't even um, your person, all right? Maybe this is somebody else that's involved that is just really messing things up and um, interfering in this connection. Because there is somebody here that I feel is going to be a, a beautiful connection for you. Let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the world. <laughs> All right. So definitely this is closing out an old chapter in order to begin a new one. So whatever that is, it's going to be beautiful. This is a completion. All right. That completion is what is bringing you that Ace of Pentacles, which I feel is going to be this lover's energy, all right? This Knight of Cups here. So yeah, might be a little bit um, difficult. I feel like you might still be going through this for a lot of you, but you are coming out of this so strong. So strong. Pisces. Alright, so if this resonated, let's get your final message. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. And let's see, Pisces, final message. Alright, we have Breathe and we have Treasure Island. Interesting, Scorpio got Treasure Island as well. All right, so this is all about, yes, you know, just breathe and breathe through this. It might be difficult, as I said, but you, you got this, all right? You can handle this. And this also reminds me of the Four of Swords, which is like meditation as well. And so it's like the more you heal, it's like a healing energy. Breathe, let yourself heal. You have a treasure island that is coming towards you. It's like right there. It's like right around the corner with that Ace of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups and the Lovers. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.